Bright Bar Muse Sunday on SXM 125 to put EC on alert. Political extortion. Crony capitalism. Amnesty. Brightbar.com Connect Facebook. Twitter. RSS. Search. Global Navigation Login. Register. Subscribe. Primary Navigation Brightbar TV. Big Hollywood. Brightbar Sports. Big Government. Big Journalism. Big Peace to Conversation. The Wires. Breitbar Muse Sunday on SXM 125 to put DC on alert. Political extortion. Crony capitalism. Amnesty. Print article send a tip. By Breitbar News October 20, 2013 Post a comment. Shown Breitbar News Sunday on Sirius XM Patriot Channel 125. Breitbar News Executive Chairman and Host Stephen K. Bannon will devote the show to three of the most important issues that Breitbar News has combated political extortion crony capitalism, and amnesty doll day. Breitbart News Managing Editor Wyden Hall will discuss the 60 Minutes segment on Sunday with Government Accountability Institute President and Breitbart News Senior Editor-at-Large Peter Schweitzer. Schweitzer's new book A Extortion, How Politicians Extract Your Money, Buy Votes, and Line Their Own Pockets They Will Rock Capitol Hill with stunning revelations about how Republicans and Democrats use mafia-like tactics to extort political contributions. Schweitzer's last book A Throw Them All Out, shocked the political establishment and mobilized Americans against Washington's permanent political class and forced Congress to pass the Stop Act, which banned insider trading by lawmakers in Congress. Breitbart News has relentlessly highlighted the crony capitalism that has allowed the permanent political and ruling class to extract money from Americans to make Washington a boom town by expanding government. It is an issue that Breitbart News has owned and something Breitbart News will continue to relentlessly pursue under new editor-in-chief Alex Marlowe, who will be on the program to discuss his vision for Breitbart News and what drives the news cycle and the new media era, which is lessening the influence of the mainstream media in their traditional roles as gatekeepers. Recently, President Barack Obama expressed his frustration that so-called bloggers that have often upended the news cycle and frustrated the ability of the Obama administration and the mainstream media to monopolize narratives. A Breitbart News announced significant changes to its masthead last Thursday. A Marlowe, described as a 27-year-old thin hom and protege who was the first employee of Breitbart News and sat at Andrew Breitbart Euros trademark S side from the time of the company's founding in Andrew with Euros trademark S basement will be the editor-in-chief going forward. Marlowe has also been referred to as the most powerful 27-year-old Euros trademark that he never heard of, having studied the news business at the feet by Euros literally, the sock-clad feet by Euros of Andrew Breitbart.